in this video we are going to see how to deploy Moodle in GCP so let's start so first we need to log into the GCP just a Google Cloud platform so I'll just log into Google as console.google uh, console.cloud.google.com and then click on the sign in and once we sign in we need to put the password All right. So once we there, um, we need to go to uh, the marketplace because <clears throat> the one which we're going to deploy is uh, from Moodle Bitnami. So let's go to marketplace and type here a Moodle. And you can see here we see the option. Um, we see the Moodle uh, Bitnami. So I click here, and uh, once you see there. Now we have to launch this machine. So just go ahead. So here it's asking about the first uh, project. So uh, about the project, so you can see here, um, this is my uh, first project which I have already created. So I click here and click on the pane. And once it come up, okay. So now it's asking for the, the deployment name. So you can give the uh, your any deployment like Moodle. Um, you can location name or number anything. So for example, I can give Moodle as a new site. Okay, so it would not accept this space. So we need to remove the space. So and no capital letter. Okay. I think this name is already there, so that's there. It's not accepting. Fine. So now we have to select the zone. So I lived in India, so I select the option India South 1A, and then um, you can say you have here uh, it asking about the machine type. So I'm using I'm going to use the micro shared one because it it cost less. You can see it's cost me like twenty one dollar forty four cent per month so uh, this this suffice my requirement because I'm, I'm going to run this test machine so if you think that you have a more user and you're going to uh, have like uh, uh, no, um, like more powerful machine then you can um, select here here from CPU how many CPU you want how many RAMs you want but for, for me uh, it should be fine because I, I go with the basic one And then in the boot type, we should check the persistent disk and the disk size will be 10 uh, uh, GB. If you want, you can expand the disk from here, but for, for my machine, it's okay. Um, here it, it's networking. It's taking a default because um, I selected the South zone A and in the South gen A, whatever the IP address comes in it, that's what I've selected this, uh, this as a default. And this is taking this is taking the IP address range from this particular zone, this uh, this ACS South 1A zone. Uh, right. So and subnet. Okay. So in the FM, this is a, a, about the external IP address. It's taking the ephemeral IP address. So this is about um, the dynamic IP. So let's let's as of now because since we have not created an, a static IP address pool, so we are not able to see that. So that's not um, a problem. We once we deploy the machine, we'll go ahead and select that server, uh, the static IP. We assign this machine as a static IP. So as you can see here, um, here it's asking about the allow HTTP traffic, but we do not want any HTTP traffic to hit on the server. So what we'll do is we'll go ahead and create a traffic only for the HTTPS. So what happened? Well, I have unchecked that. So it this machine, this firewall will not allow any HTTP traffic on the server. So let's go ahead and deploy, hit deploy. So, okay, so before we get in, hit the deploy, you can see here in this machine which we are deploying, uh, deploying here, this micro shared machine is based on the Debian and then they have it. These are the component which we're going to deploy. So let's go ahead and hit deploy here. So it is going to take the time. So um, once it's done, I'll get back to you once it's completed. 
Okay, so as you can see, this machine is deployed and you see the green um, checkbox here. So um, in the right hand side, you can see the uh, static IP, uh, the IP which is assigned uh, for now. This is called ephemeral IP address and this, the access to this Moodle, you have an admin user called user and this is the password. So, and here you say the instance name is uh, Moodle new site 01-VM and uh, this is deploy in South 1A and this is the F1 micro site. So what we do is we just go and create this, uh, click on the link. So it is going to open the site. Let's wait for that. And uh, we have to make a note of this, um, this, this password at least so that it can, uh, it will help us to log in. Okay, so uh, remember uh, we have disabled this HTTPS, right? So this is not going to work. So what we have to do is we need to type HTTPS colon whack whack and then type yes, um, hit the enter. And now this is going to open because we don't have any public SSL certificate. So that's what is giving me an error. So that's okay. So just wait. Just wait for the website to load. Okay, so click on now since it's logged logged in. So now click on the user and the password. Click on the login. And here we go. So you have a site here. The site name is a new site. You can uh, you can create like my new site, my new site, and then you can put all your information here. And uh, since I'm from India, so I'll just take the option called India here. Oops, India here, and click. No, um. Okay, so this is how your site is ready.